so they wouldn't have anything to steal anything from us here. The single most important thing here is seeing here, pop off by him. He's about to come out. We just finished the game, we sang the Jürgen song for like the final 10 minutes of the game, including the stop and stand. And it got louder and louder and louder. has had this level of atmosphere. Um, shame it couldn't be more, but ultimately, part of it is glad there's no more distraction. Oh no, don't. Um, this is it, this is the farewell. The best manager that's managed the Liverpool in my lifetime is finally leaving us, and he's leaving us on, our, on his terms, not on us, on his terms, and I respect that, I do. He's going to go and be a grandparent, he's going to live his life away from the spotlight of football, away from the pressure bucket of football, but he's never going to leave Liverpool in his heart, and he's never going to leave our hearts either. Just a sensational manager, sensational man. Yeah, listen, soak it in, feel your feelings. Um, I'm going to go back up in a second and just soak it all in. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about the match. Ultimately, whatever. Third place is a building block, it's a foundation. We wish there could be more, but it does feel like this is the beginning of a new side rather than the end. And so many times when a manager leaves, you do just think, ah. And there is a degree of that, but in terms of raw materials, it's being handed over here. I mean, players like Harvey Elliott and Janelle Ponsa, Conor Bradley going back on, but Chetis hasn't even had a kick this season. These are potential superstars, and they are just at the beginning of their careers, let alone the likes of you know, Virgil van Dijk and Mahamata and Alison Becker still. You know, the guys have been there and done it, and done it all at the highest possible level. Trent in his prime. <sighs> yeah. Um, look, it's crap. Crap, no one wants them to go. <laughs> no one wants them to go, um, but he's going to go. Um, and I'm glad he gets to send off that he deserves. I'm glad it didn't end acrimoniously. I'm glad that someone who gave us all this happiness and success and joy doesn't have it all crumbled down around him. And it could have done, but he fought to get Liverpool back into shape. And here we are now, in striking position, back in the Champions League, and hopefully with something to build upon. So yeah, listen, thanks Jürgen, thanks for everything. I told you myself in person. Um, thank you for everything, what you've done on the pitch, and what you've done for me and my team off the pitch. The best, the best of times. Um, these times, we're going to put these times in a war, so let's appreciate what we've got, and never, ever forget the wonderful moments. Thank you.